I'm touching the heart of that man. Uh, you, yes, touch your heart. Where's your wife? Sir? Come together. Because I must pray for both of you so that you'll be able to sleep. <clears throat> because I'm hearing the heart of this man beating very fast. What is happening with your heart, sir? I don't know, sir. You hear it, pa, 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 pa. Yes. Huh? Um, last week I was tested for high blood pressure. For uh -huh. four days it was, it was uh, 100 and, 180 versus 105. It, so it means it is a high blood? Yes. Uh, I'm hearing your heart. When I look at you, I, pa, 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 I say, what is this? God says, I must pray with you, also with your wife. Amen. Because this thing also is happening to your wife. So you people, you can't sleep. From tonight, you sleep well. You are healed from this attack. Amen. I saw the house. You hear me? Amen. I saw a house you people were trying to build. Yes. And then I heard that yeah, God have to give you money to finish this. Amen. You hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, after I pray with you, yes. this will stop. Money will come. Yes. You even buy furniture, everything. I release you. Amen. In Jesus' name. I touch this heart. You are free. You are free. You are free. You can go back. I, I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. E. Makanenisa. And with me here today is my family who were located during the service by the Apostle who ministered upon their lives. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Emmanuel Lamini. I'm coming from Cresta. The lady next to me is my wife, Sazi Sotlamini. Yes. So today during the service, the apostle located you and ministered upon your lives. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Um, the apostle said to me, um, he sees my heart pumping fast. And I'm struggling to sleep during the night. And even my wife, it was the same thing that she's also struggling to sleep. Both of us are struggling to sleep. So I confirm that because on the 26th of September, I was feeling like I've got tonsils or my throat wasn't doing well. So I went to the GP and then they tested my high blood pressure and it was 144 versus 105. And they gave me medication, but not for blood pressure. He actually told me that I'll test your blood pressure for five days before I can suggest medication for you. So he did that from 26, which was a Tuesday, 27, 28. It was still 144, 102, 145, 105. So it didn't go down until Friday. And then on Saturday, that was my last day. He had already told me that I must apply for chronic medication. I must go to my medical aid, get a form, and apply for chronic medication. So I said on Saturday, no, I'm a child of God. I'm not, I'm not going to take chronic medication. I didn't download the form. I just took a, a fast on a Saturday. When I went back to the GP, it came down to 137 versus um, 80. Then he said, this is weird. So let me give you tablets for a month, but come back again. I want to test you after a month before we can go for chronic medication. And this is confirmed today by the Apostle. Yes. And Ma, how do you feel that today the Apostle located your family and ministered upon your lives? It's quite a relief. I'm really relieved because I was really worried. I wasn't sleeping. My feet were sore. So it's really confirmed that we have blood pressure. But we believe lo the, the Lord of Charis, the God of Charis, has delivered us, has healed us. Mm. So we thank God for the grace and mercy. Mm. And so how do you feel? I really feel great. And over and above that, we've got a house that we're building. That house, it, it has been standing like that for years. Now that we are planning to build, and the Apostle confirmed that, we're going to find money and be able to build that house. Amen. I thank God for that. Amen. Yes. Thank you. It's a bonus for us. 
I want to release you, my sister. The one who's looking at me, you. I want to release you. You hear me? Yes. I want to pray for this marriage. You hear me? Amen. Yes. This marriage must stand. Amen. Don't look at what people are doing to your husband. Yes. Sir. You hear me? Amen. Because they want you to give up yes. from a marriage. Mm. You hear me? Yes, sir. I want to release you. Amen. You understand? Amen. And you forgive everyone. Amen. So that you win your husband Amen. back. And this thing must leave you. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Life, ma'am. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Khabbalo Lufuneka. I'm from Mafiki. Today during the service, the apostle located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yes, when the prophet located me, he told me that he's releasing me and that uh, my marriage will stand and I must not worry about what people are saying about my husband and of which is true. There are so many people who are, it's like they are undermining him. Mm, so it gets to me, it gives me stress, yes. And how do you feel that today the apostle located you and guided you? Yeah, I'm very happy, I thank God about that. Because I was praying yesterday, saying I want God to locate me today. Actually, that's the reason why I came. And I thank God because I believe everything will be solved. Amen. Mashudu, you must tell your wife that no one will die in a family. I'm telling you, where's your wife? Because I'm seeing people coming together. I say, what is happening? They say they want to kill her mother. They want to kill her mother, her mother, her mother. Mm. I want to stop the killing. There are people who want to kill your mom. She's very sick when I'm looking at her. It's like she's getting stroke. Yes, yes. I was speaking with her yesterday. She told me that her leg can't function. It's very painful. Yes, I'm hearing that there are people who want to kill your mom. And your mom wants to run away. I'm sure she told you that. No, she didn't. She didn't tell you that. She no. said she, wa she said she wants to live her life. She, she never told you that. No. Because she knows these people are killing her. These are the people. This is a stroke. We are stopping this stroke. You must call your mom. She's free wherever she is. Go and call your mom. After 10 minutes, go and call your mom. She's free as I'm speaking right now. I see things coming out of her leg. Nice, ma'am. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Nkatagona Mzebadi and I stay in Clayville. Today during the service, the apostle located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Wow, he spoke about the people that want to kill my mom. Well, we were not actually aware of that, but this morning I spoke to her. She told me that she's very sick and that her right leg cannot function. She's not able to do anything. So yeah, that's what happened. They did continue saying that it, it's a stroke and that people actually want to kill her and that she wants to run away, which I did not know. She only told me that she's very sick. And actually this morning she told me that I must ask for prayers here at church because she's feeling very, very sick. So I'm very glad that the man of God located me and prayed for me, for her. I mean, pray through me for her. So I'm, I'm really glad and I hope and I believe that wherever she is, she's healed. Amen. I saw what is happening to your head. You? This thing that is happening to your head must come out. This lady here. Come out. Yeah, it must come out, those things. Must leave that head. These things must leave the head. In the name of Jesus. Life, Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Maria Ratabala. I come from Winnie Mandela. Originally, I am come from Limpopo, Japan. Mama, today during the service, the apostle located you and spoke to you. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. 
today the prophecy is true se prof muruti ba mpulicho sona ba mpucho re ke no le something yen confuse o ka ra mind wa ka ene ba ba bolela net ka re kana go ke eta mo ke re ke ke be ngkhutwa ke fila nka ta re ko re ke fila something yele re ke irwe le ka mara ka mo mora wa ka Mama says um, the prophecy that she received today is 100% true because the apostle spoke to her regarding something moving in her head and on her way to church she's, she's been feeling that sensation and it was moving towards her back. Um, Mama, how long have you been experiencing this and how has it affected you? <laughs> Our professor, Baba Ibulela, Nasa, Baba Ibulela, Nete, Bile Kamko, Bile, Ish, Gibe Nkuluza, Le, 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 Mama says it's true what she's been told. Um, she would feel that she's kind of like losing her mind and that she was also very suicidal. I um, see another lady there. What is happening to you is like an object in the stomach. He's sitting there wearing white. This thing goes up and down and make you feel pain. Let me hear what is happening to you. What is happening? There is a pain that is moving up and down now. It Inside your stomach? Yes. I'm seeing something here. Yeah. I just want to pray that thing must stop now. It's an object that they put in your stomach. That thing in the head. Where is that lady of the head? Run forward here. Run forward here. You're going to be the first person to be using your family. <clears throat> Brother. God will use you. God has chosen you. You hear me? You always dream speaking with people. Amen. 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 Huh? Amen. amen. What is amen? I say you always dream speaking with people. Yeah, Exactly, man. Alright, so now you understand. God wants to use you. Look here. This prayer you do in the middle of the night, do it, carry on. Because you, I see you waking up. Amen. Huh? Amen. Automatically, you know, no, so what I've seen. Huh? And you go, you go and pray. Amen. Eh? Amen. So you are gaining strength. God will use you. Don't look at your condition. Because there's nothing, there's nobody who's supporting you. Brother, don't look at your situation. Nobody's supporting you. Amen. I'm seeing you alone like this, and there are other people there. Amen. No one cares about you. Yeah. So that is why God is choosing you. You, Amen. you are chosen. Amen. You are free. Sister, the one who's looking, you are free, yes. Come here. Mama, you are free, eh? Uh, this thing that is happening to you is so strange. Sometimes you feel like the whole body is numb. Yes. Huh? Yes. Uh, you are free today. Thank you are free. Jesus. Thank you, Father. You are free. Let me ask the husband, come. If she, she told you about this thing, because the whole body becomes numb. Did she tell you how she feel? Yes, did. She said what? She says she's not feeling well in the body. In the body. Mm. Yeah, this whole body becomes a number and, here. And the legs as well. Yes. And uh, this will stop. It's coming from my work. She's working with wrong people. So I cancel these people who are fighting here at work. Uh, there was a time she wanted to stop working. Huh? Yes. You say it's better I stop because yes, yes. I'm tired like of these going. people. Yes. Huh? yes, I felt like going. Yes, yeah, so now today you are free. Thank you, Jesus. Your enemies will bow. Thank you, Jesus. Father. Can you run there and come back? Run there and come back. When you are running like this, I want these people of your family to know you are the head. Stop there, stop there. Let this power catch you in Jesus' name. These people are wishing you must bow. They are fighting you. Whatever you are trying to do, they fight you. 
I stopped them this year. They must see you buying a four by four car. Uh, they must see you buy a four by four car. These people here, they say you have nothing. I'll say you have everything. Amen. They say you have nothing. It's like when you speak with this person, the person will disappoint you tomorrow. The way I'm seeing it. That's true. Huh? Yeah, you that's face true. disappointment. You speak with this one, this one disappoint. You speak with this one just like that. That's true. Uh, you, you have got many enemies in the spirit. But I'm saying from now on you prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. This is life, sir. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Zama Chauke. Um, from originally I'm from Limpopo, but I'm staying in Randberg at the moment. Today during the service, the apostle located you and spoke to you. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, he indicated to me that um, I'm facing some challenges of my life and there's no progress of my life. And um, he prayed for me, indicating he also mentioned to me that uh, there will be progress going forward. And he also mentioned that there will be, I will receive um, uh, 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 imagine, imagine the age of a motor, a, a, a car, a new car, and mention that it's a, it is a, a huge car, and of which uh, it is a double cap. Uh, yeah, that's that's what basically he mentioned. Yeah. And how do you feel that today the apostle located you and spoke upon your life? Um, I, I did pray about it today, that uh, if the man of God could locate me and then pray to me about my life, because I've been facing some serious challenges personally. There was no progress on my life. There's a lot of uh, hindrance on my life. There was no progress. And it is true, whatever I mentioned today, it is a, a true reflection, whatever that I'm, I'm facing at the moment, and of which I'm... I'm confident and I believe that whatever I just mentioned today, it shall come to pass. And I do believe that um, the reason why the man of God located me, he had seen that indeed I'm facing some serious challenges. Um, I believe that all whatever I mentioned, it shall come to pass. Very soon for that matter. Amen. I want to bless you so that you must not make mistakes. Yes, Daddy. Like of your father, you hear me? Yes, Daddy. I want to bless you. You, you must, you will do a white wedding here. Amen, amen, uh, amen, amen. You hear me? Yes, Daddy. Uh, you, are, you, are, you are planning, you are planning to do what is good because you want to shock your family. Amen. You, you, you in your heart, when I call you, I heard you say, you want to marry right and do what is right. Is it true what I'm saying? Yes, Daddy. That's uh, all I, I always pray about it, every day. You always speak about it. You want to prove your family that God is there. Amen. I just want to stand with you. I say it will happen in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This is life, sir. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Hi, my name is Benedictus Mukwasa and I'm from Centurion. Today during the service, the apostle located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, the man of God spoke about a spirit that is following me from, this, uh, from my family which is uh, most of them, they are into Sangomas and idol worshipping. So he was saying that um, I'm actually obedient and I want to do what God, um, I'm, 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 I'm actually doing what God wants me to do. So he confirmed that I've been praying about it, telling God that I do not want to live like they live. I want to be different and I want to be used by God. He also spoke about marriage that um, I'm going to wear here in church. So it's something that I've been praying about and waiting for God to answer me about it. And how long have you been trusting in God for marriage? Uh, I could say maybe it's been two years, maybe. Yes, I think maybe two years, three, maybe, yes. And how do you feel that today the Apostle located you and ministered upon your life? I feel really happy because, I mean, I've been, I've been praying about it and now that God listened to my prayer i'm really happy that you know he's been looking at me and listening to me amen there's a dream you have dreamed uh, brother there's a dream where you have entered a house yeah? ah 
Yes, yes, eh? yes, yes, that's true. Yeah, I see you entering the house. You look at the house and say, who's the owner of this house? Yes, yes, that's eh? true, Dad. That's 100% true. Yeah, this is the dream that we want to come to pass this year. Amen. Oh. Sounds live, sir. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Caleb. I come from Pretoria. Today during the service, the Apostle located you and spoke to you. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, the Apostle mentioned that uh, he saw me having a dream where I was in a house and I didn't know whose house it was. And I confirmed the dream to be Jesus. true because he even illustrated me showing that I wasn't even aware Jesus. of what was happening in the house. So I confirmed that to be true. And he further declared, please tell us what he said. Um, he further declared that uh, this will happen this year and I can confirm it to be true because there's certain things I'm waiting for so I believe there's a confirmation. So, so, so regarding the house, basically, um, there is no house. I've just been shopping around, but it's not like there's finances for the house. But there's other things that I'm busy with relating to money. And it's something that I've had in my mind that I will purchase another house soon. Because although I just purchased the house, so that I confirm to be true. Yes. And how do you feel that today the apostle located you and ministered upon your life regarding your dream? I've, I've, been, I've been getting concerns regarding delays that I've been having. So like I said, I believe that this house issue is related directly mm -hmm. to those businesses that I've been doing. So I confirm it to be 100% true and I'm ecstatic. I'm very happy about, uh, about the word that, that the Lord has spoken in my life today. God loves you. Eh? You hear me? Amen. God loves you. Amen. Because I will see a spirit of Sangomas. Amen. You're around you. Amen. Uh, I heard that you people here, your family. They, they worship Satan. They go to Sangoma people. Amen. Huh? Amen. Uh, and uh, you, you don't want things like that. Amen. That is why you find yourself in the water in your dreams. Amen. Huh? Amen. You know what I'm talking about, Mama? Yes, I do. Uh, you find yourself entering the water. Yes. I want to take you out of the water. Amen. I want to take you out of the water. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You cannot be a Sangoma. Amen. Because sometimes here you feel your feet. Yes. They are giving you problems. They are even swelling. Huh? They are even swelling. And this thing started with, it's in your family. Amen. There are Sangomas that I'm seeing here. Amen. These are Sangomas. Amen. Let me see the feet that is shorter. Where is this shorter? So this feet also will be healed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You are free. Amen. You are free. I take you out of the water. Amen. I take you out of the water. Amen. I take you out of the Amen. water. Amen. You are free here. Amen. Here you are free. Amen. And you are healed. Amen. I remove this bad luck. Amen. You are blessed here. Amen. In Jesus. Congratulations. Amen. You can go. Look here. I'm giving you a month. Eh? You hear me? You start to see your life changing. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, That there was an accident, but this accident could not kill you. And there's another one that's coming. Is it true what I'm saying? Yes, it is true. It's true. There was an accident. I see a white car here. Huh? So it's, a, it's a white bike. In fact, we have got two cars, but the one that has uh, that got a, an accident is a is a white bike. God say I must pray for you. you hear me? Come. Nothing will happen to you. Are you hearing me? Eh? And uh, I want to advise you to sell this, this car. You understand? Come here, let me pray for you. I want to advise you to sell this car. God will give you a better car than this. You know, because you love to do business. So I'll advise you to sell this car. And see if God won't give you a better car. In Jesus' name. You yeah, are blessed. Uh, so, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Okay, my name is Philemon and I'm from Northwest Province, particularly Lekhti Town. The Apostle located you and spoke to you. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yes, what uh, the Apostle has said to me, it's true. He located me and he spoke about an accident. He said he's seeing an accident that happened and he's seeing another one that is coming and he spoke about 
the white car of which I am driving one of the white cars, which is a bike that had an accident before. And uh, he advised, as the spirit led, led him, for me to sell that car that had an accident. And so how do you feel that today the Apostle located you and ministered upon your life regarding what's happened and what the devil is planning to do and even advised you regarding the car issue? I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy because of I once had a dream and in that dream I saw the car that the Apostle advised me to sell, not in the garage. And I even told him, my wife. So... <coughs> That shows it was God telling me that the time for that car, Amen. it has to go. Amen. So I'm happy. I'm happy. Amen. Yes. All right. Thank you.